In this episode of Life Beyond the Pitch, we interview Victor Irwin. He's one of the youngest players in the UAE men's squad. He's an ICC scholar, UAE under 19 wicketkeeper batsman and World Cup player, and one of the most promising talents in the UAE. So without further ado, please help me welcome Mr. Vidya. Yeah, thank you for being the fourth guest of Life Beyond the Pitch. So how do you start your cricket career? Uh, hi, Brian. How are you, man? Uh, uh, so I started my cricket career when India won the World Cup in 2011. So I was living in India back then. Before that, I had no experience, never played cricket before. Mm-hmm. But then, once India won that World Cup, with the, like the celebrations, like people were walking down the streets, bursting crackers, like really like motivated me. And that's when I started taking up cricket as a sport. And mm-hmm. I realized I was actually pretty decent at it. And that's when I started taking cricket as a profession. Mm-hmm. How's your time in quarantine been on the game? How's it, has it adapted you better or how's it taught you? What, what kind of skills has it taught you? I mean, quarantine, I mean, it's had its positives and negatives. So, negatives being, of course, missing out on two, three major tours. Like, we had a tour to Miami, we missed that. Mm-hmm. We had a tour to PNG, we missed that. Mm-hmm. And then the positives, probably, I think I got time to work on my my strength work, my lot of fitness work. So, I've been running a lot. I think I ran over like one, 120, 130 miles in the quarantine period. So, in like one, one and a half months, I ran a lot. Mm-hmm. And I've been doing home workouts. My building is kind enough to give me some equipments, like they gave me some weights and stuff mm-hmm. so I can do my own home training. And then we've also been having a lot of Zoom call sessions with the UAE men's trainers like mm-hmm. Pete and Azar. They've been training us a lot with in Zoom calls. So mm-hmm. so we keeping our fitness on check, but that's basically it. How has running helped your game? Uh, I mean, I've not got a chance to test myself yet mm-hmm. because we, the matches haven't started. Mm-hmm. But of course, I think it will be a big, big advantage, you know. Because when fitness increases, this it all becomes easy. You know, like you can mm-hmm. probably back for longer, focus for longer. So can't wait to get back on the field, man. Mm-hmm. So you travel to the World Cup with the under 19 squad. So want to talk through the experience and any funny story or any memory you have? Man, that was that was one of the you know, opportunity of a lifetime. It was mm-hmm. that was great, lovely experience. Got to test my skills against best players around the world. Mm-hmm. And as a team, I thought we were a very well prepared team. We were pretty strong. Mm-hmm. We played well, 100% we played well, but we could have done better. Of course, we could have done way better. We could have mm-hmm. qualified for Super 8. The South Africa game, of course, yeah. was a very good game, but then the rain and uh-huh. you know what happened. But I think it was a very good learning, very good learning, good journey for everyone on tour. Mm-hmm. And 100% everyone has taken away something from that tour. Mm-hmm. So you're one of the youngest players in the UE men's squad. So we'll talk about that exposure, how you got in, and then what was your emotion, what you felt like? Yeah, so it was ICC World T20 qualifiers in UAE. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was watching the games on TV actually, like <laughs> the two days before I saw UAE beat Canada. Yeah. Those months were like 80 odd runs, and I was so happy. And then next day, I actually had my psychology test. Yeah. And 10 minutes before my test, I get a call from from Pete, and he's like, Ritya, we want you to join the UAE men's team for tomorrow's game against Netherlands, the semi-finals. Yeah. It was the qualifiers, and yeah. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, this this came out of the blue. Like, I had never expected it. And yeah. I was during an exam, and then after I took, went in write my exam, went to my house, changed, went to the hotel, uh-huh. and that's how I got to the UAE team. And from that point to now, I think the senior players mm-hmm. have helped me a lot. They've supported me hugely, like massively. Like Rohan, Ahmed, Osman. I think all of them. They've been like really warm and welcoming. And they've supported me throughout, and I'm think I think that'll help me to perform mm-hmm. in the future and probably win games for the team. I think that's the main goal. Hundred percent. Hopefully, you do really well. Um, how do you switch off from a bad day? So you're bad day on the field. How do you go back home and not take it home? Uh, so of course, all most of the players have more bad days than good days. Like that's mm-hmm. a given in the sport. And I think it's how you overcome your bad days. That's when that's what uh, defines you as a cricketer. Mm-hmm. And I try and keep it simple. I don't try and think a lot about the game mm-hmm. because that's when I, I tend to like get nervous or get like anxious, annoyed and stuff. Mm-hmm. So uh, once I get out, of course, I'm like, I, I'm a guy who gets like pissed, who gets annoyed for the first 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. And after I just chill off and then go uh, continue supporting the team and try and support the team to win the game. And I think that's the main thing. Even mm-hmm. if I have a bad day, if the team wins, I think that's that's good enough. So that's what I try and do. Mm-hmm. How do you think cricket's going to look after the whole corona thing has passed, we get the vaccine? How do you think cricket's going to change? Uh, and with a lot of rules coming in, different rules, it might take a bit of time to adapt to the new rules. Because mm-hmm. I think fast bowlers have probably been used to shining the ball, 
using the saliva and now the saliva ban is a pretty big debate going on mm-hmm. so i think it'll take some time to adapt but surely i think everyone is everyone can't wait to go back to the field and perform man 100% that's true okay now i'm going to ask you so you before this interview i asked you two favorite cricketers and you said Kane Williamson and Virat Kohli so i'll ask you a couple of questions about them and then stats about yourself you ready okay yes yeah. so when did Kane Williamson make his international debut was it 2012 2009 2011 or 2010 oh uh, Kane Williamson i know he made his debut against india mm-hmm. i know that Well, I think it was in 2010. You're spot on, 100%. You're right. Yeah. Well done. Okay. How many runs did you score in the 2018 IPL season? Was it 555, 656, 735, or 700? Uh, Williams, I think he scored 555. Go a bit higher. 655. One more. What was the second option? Seven, it's, it's either 655, 735 or 699 699 out there it's 735 very close 735 yeah, well. a lot of runs and then who was his debut match against I mean, you already answered this question but India yeah India, India. But yeah okay now I'm gonna ask you a couple stats about your life okay mm-hmm. what do you think your average was in the 2018 2019 ECB season your batting average 2018-2019. That was a good season. Yeah. Uh, it was about 50. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's above 50 mm-hmm. but less than 70. I think 60, 60.4 maybe? 100%, 60.4. Oh. Hold on. Mad. Okay. <laughs> What do you think your strike rate is for UAE men's in ODI cricket? 88. Oh, spot on. Bro, okay. I Google myself every day, bro. <laughs> Get updated. <laughs> okay. How many total runs have you scored in ECB? Like every year com- uh, combined. Every combined. Oh, man. I'll know, give you. Uh, do you want a hint? Yeah, bro. Sure. Okay, it's above 800, but less than 1,100. The first season I scored around 160 or 140, and then second season 621. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how much I scored third season. This season, because I only played like four or five games. Mm-hmm. So you scored a lot. Below 900, season, yeah. yeah? It's above 900, less than 1,200. Yeah, 947? 1,000 runs. Oh, it's good. Oh, that's good, man. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Okay, so you got most of them right, so which is well done. You know your own stats and your favorite cricketer stats. So now I'm going to do like a rapid fire round. I'll ask you like, mm-hmm. I have one minute on my phone here. I'll keep firing questions at you and let's answer them. Ready? Sure, okay. bro. Who's your funniest teammate in every team you've played? Wahid. Okay. Uh, what's your most iconic memory on the field? Uh, probably scoring my first 100 for the UAE under 19s against Saudi and that was that was a big moment for me. Mm-hmm. Who do you think is a young star to watch for the future? Aditya Shetty. Mm-hmm. Who's your biggest competition in the team? Uh, in the men's team or on the under 19s? Any team. Okay, for the men's, I would say Buta mm-hmm. and for the under 19s, Kai. Who do you hate facing in the men's squad? Who do I hate facing? Probably Raza. Okay. Who's your best roommate? Uh, I don't have one actually because we always sleep together. It's me, Ali Shand, Wasi, Aryan and mm-hmm. Hunch. I'm okay. These five. If you weren't playing cricket, what would you do? <laughs> Never thought about it. Have I? If I wasn't playing cricket, then... Bro, that's a, hard, that's a good one. I'm actually not sure, man. I'm not sure. I'll just be studying, but that's it. <laughs> What was your first memory that you actually remember being on the field and playing cricket? Uh, I got for a duck. Mm-hmm. Do you know? Do you want to talk about the duck? Uh, I think it was my first game. I was, I think it was, uh, I was playing for G Force back mm-hmm. then. I think it was under 11 game. It was inter squad game. It was inter G Force under under 11 game. I think first game. I went and I was nervous. My first ever cricket match with mm-hmm. the hard ball, and then I got out. I think second ball, I got out. Got mm-hmm. pulled. That's a memory. I wouldn't forget that. Okay. Um, do you want to give any tip to any wicket keeper who wants to start being a keeper or start being a batsman? Any one tip you want to give? Uh, just focus on on performing and winning winning games for your team. I think that's the main thing. It's not about individual performance. It's about contributing towards your team's success. I think that's what's going to take you places. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you, Vichy, for being the fourth guest. Hope you had a good time. Any final message to the viewers? Thanks, Ryan. It was good, man. It was good discussing a lot of cricket uh, with you after a long time. Yeah. Didn't have a lot of people to talk about cricket during <laughs> quarantine, so it was good, of course. Uh, I think everyone, I uh, think cricket's going to start really soon. Like Matches are going to start soon. Mm -hmm. So fingers crossed and hopefully we go out there and start performing like what we used to do. 100%. Thank you so much for being on the show, man. No worries, bro. No worries.